Aspi, good to see you. First up, let's start off with the game. It was a hard-fought draw. Do you think it was the fair result today? Well, I think uh, we were the better team. We had uh, better chances, a bit uh, unlucky in, in the last bit as well with uh, with Kai's offside. That I think was a great start of the game, and you know, uh, of course, happy with the performance. But uh, you know, we have all the feeling that we could have won the game uh, uh, today. It was a good performance, like you said. Does that give you confidence moving forward? Yeah, of course. I think uh, we have had a, a tough uh, moment. Of course, we are not where we want to be. But today, I think the, the team performed really well from the from the start, uh, as well in the second half with you know with uh, with Misha coming in uh, after just uh, two train sessions. It's, it's great to see his quality and the team as well changed the shape. So I think that flexibility gave us uh, a bit more control in the second half. And as I said before, a bit unlucky not to not to get the winner because even in the last couple of minutes we we had uh, uh, moments where we could uh, punish them. You mentioned the difficult period. It really has been a challenge, hasn't it? With so many people injured, the game's coming every three to four days. Does it feel like you're coming out of that now? Yes. Uh, you know, uh, it's true that when you're in a tough moment, it's difficult to see uh, the light. But um, we know how football and life is. And sometimes you have to go through difficult moments. And there's no point on just uh, making excuses or blaming uh, someone else, I think, is... It's important to stick together, to be humble, to work harder. And of course, uh, football gives you uh, every three, four days, or in, in this case, we'll have two weeks to prepare the next game, which uh, you have to make the most of it and and go uh, day by day, working hard and, and, and getting ready for, for the next one. You use the word humble. That brings me on to you. Um, small matter of an incredible milestone, a 500th Chelsea appearance. What does that mean to you? Well, uh, you know, I feel very honored to to reach uh, this uh, number. I couldn't imagine when I first joined the club in 2012. Of course, you know, uh, the memories that I, uh, that I have uh, are amazing. I try to to enjoy every day uh, to keep improving. Uh, I know that uh, you know how tough it is, uh, you know, to 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 be successful in football and and for me to 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 come to a club like Chelsea after winning the Champions League and I wanted to create my my own history but uh I couldn't make it with you know with everybody in the club uh, with all members of the staff around with uh, my teammates all over the years uh, coaches members of of the staff that uh they had confidence they trust uh, in me and and you know the only thing I can I can I can say is thank you for that and when I'm on the pitch every day just trying to to make the most of it and, and improve because it's a privilege to 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 play for Chelsea, to be the captain of this club and I will keep uh, giving my best. The manager mentioned a little earlier that you had a round of applause from your teammates. What did that mean to you after the game? Well, I, yeah, I'm very grateful for that because it's nice. Uh, of course, I know that it's not uh, an easy number to reach and you know maybe nowadays in, in modern football it's even more difficult but uh, you know, I... I always had in my mind since I arrived that I, I wanted to to be part uh, of the of a club that has been successful for a long time. So I wanted to to keep that legacy, and and now it's up to us to to keep doing that. Uh, you know, I share every day with my teammates, with with the staff, and you know, I think that uh, it's nice that people that work around you that uh, they appreciate, and and I always try to to give my best. Sometimes you can be better than, than other days but uh, you know the important thing is to give everything and how is that's how I see football and life and just to put it into context there's only five people that have played for this club five people that have made more appearances than you it's, it's astonishing isn't it <laughs> no, I mean I never honestly I never uh, stopped uh, looking at numbers or trophies you know I because I believe that uh, looking at back it's just you know you can football is about the present and and of course you know when you see memories and you know you see pictures and you see a trophies of course it's really nice and I would rather have this kind of pictures than than not having anything but uh, you know it's it's about the present and you know you want more and you know when you, when I you know I, I, I we won my first trophy I wanted the second and just you know that's the way I think uh is the DNA in, in this club, and uh, we'll try to to keep uh, having it for for a long time. Just another 92 to catch John Hollins. 
No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Let's just enjoy the 500, you know. Uh, <laughs>